what would you recommend for someone if they wanted to get more surveys? What should they expect? Is it something you're thrilled to do? I mean, give us the, the details about all this. I think for people that have facial paralysis, there are so many things to consider with having surgeries. Number one, having facial paralysis is actually fairly traumatic because socially it's not understood, it's not well known. People treat you a little differently when they see that your face doesn't work. And now there are actually so many different procedures that can be done to help. And so I would say definitely check and see if there's something that you can do. See if there's something that you can qualify for. Many are even covered by insurance these days, so it makes it more accessible. But there are a variety of different procedures that can be done depending on the severity of the paralysis, the cause of the paralysis, and what situation you're in, what stage you're in. For me, it had been a very, very long time. It had been, by the time I started the process, my face had been paralyzed for 12 years. And so there was almost no movement left in any of my muscles or nerves. Whereas for some people, you might still have some functioning nerves and muscles in there that just need to be reactivated. And so some procedures are fairly simple, simple in the sense that you can accomplish some great results with only one surgery and they can go and kind of reactivate and almost like flip the switch on your nerve and you might be able to have movement restored. So it's definitely worth checking into. My case, because it had been so long, we really had to go much more in depth and it has been a series of procedures over a couple of years. That was one thing I did not understand when I saw the before and after pictures and videos of the patients that my doctor had worked on. I didn't realize that these before and after were not just one surgery or even a couple of surgeries over a short period of time, but they were over years. So you have to learn to be patient with the process because you want to make sure that you get every stage done correctly and that you give your body time to recover because that's one of the most important things when dealing especially with the nerves. Nerves regenerate at only one millimeter a day, which means if you've got an eight inch long nerve that you have to get working, that could take you eight, nine months in order for that nerve to get working. So you just can't rush things. But there are amazing procedures out there that can help. In the case of my series of surgeries, the gracilis muscle transfer, they did take a muscle from my leg and transfer it into my face and now I have more movement and more control over my mouth and more symmetry, more functionality in my face than I've had in the last 14 years. So it's been a long process. Sometimes it feels like you're in it for the long haul. It feels like it's never going to get better. But then all of a sudden you get to a point where you realize, wow, this is so much better than where I was. And it makes me very grateful to the medical community who have individuals who literally have dedicated their careers to helping people overcome situations like mine, where facial paralysis can rule someone's life. And it has caused many people I know to shut themselves off from the world, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, socially. And series of surgeries can actually go in and help so that you can get out there and face the world again.